What's up, folks? This is your boy, Darko. Welcome to another edition of Kindles and Kicks. So today, I'm going to talk about the 10 things that I love, learned, or witnessed since joining BookTube. Number one, the community. BookTube has quite possibly the most warm, embracing, encouraging, and supportive community that I've ever been a part of. And that couldn't, that includes school, work, church. Like I've never seen a group of people who get along so well and work to uplift one another. Like I don't see a lot of competition. I don't see no gangs, no beef. Like there's, there's no bloods and crips in book two. At least that, not that I know of. Everybody is just here to enjoy and support one another. Number two, there is space for everybody on book two. No matter your race, ethnicity, gender, religion, sexuality, whatever genre you're particularly interested in, there is just nothing but support and welcome in the booktube space, no matter where you're from or who you are. Number three, the friendships and camaraderie. This has been such a huge part of why I have enjoyed being a part of booktube. I've just built such meaningful relationships already with some fellow booktubers that I hope will stand the test of time. Like people that I have never met that live very far from me, but that I already consider friends. Number four, and this is something that uh, another booktuber, Sam Harrison, actually brought to my attention because he did a very similar video um, about a month ago. And he talked about the challenge of being a booktube or a content creator overall and the enjoyment in that. And I have to absolutely agree. Figuring out how to film and how to edit, all this is extremely new to me still, and there's still a lot I have to learn, but I'm willing to do it. It kind of reminds me of when I was 13 and I got my first computer and I started to learn how to surf the web and, and get knowledge about HTML and JavaScript. And it really challenged my brain and booktube is very similar. It's new, it's refreshing and it provides me a challenge and, uh, it, but it's very, very enjoyable and rewarding. Number five, you learn about new authors and books that you never would have heard of if it wasn't for being a part of booktube. I'll give you an example. Guy Gavril K. I would have never even considered reading any of his books if I wasn't convinced by other booktubers who were so enthusiastic about his ability to write and craft the narrative and make it engaging and entertaining. And I am a new fan and I would have not even heard of him if it wasn't for being a part of BookTube. Number six. So it's one thing to find new books to read by being a part of BookTube, but I think it's even more powerful when you influence others to read, to give your honest opinions and thoughts and hope that someone will see them and be encouraged or motivated to read the books you're talking about. I don't think it's anything more special when you receive a comment or a message and someone tells you that I read that book because of what you said about it, good or bad. And you can exchange your thoughts and opinions, same or different. It is such a great feeling and very, very rewarding. 
Number seven is reading sprints, which is a concept I had no idea about until joining BookTube. And for someone like me who can get easily distracted and busy in my work and personal life, reading sprints provide me a dedicated time and space to do nothing but read. It's also a lot of fun, you know, especially when you join in on the chat or if you just happen to pop on the video with other booktubers and you're chatting and you're discussing what you're reading. It is, it is so much fun and I'm just happy I was introduced to it. All right, number eight. Booktube has been a huge confidence booster. As many of you booktubers or just content creators in general know, there is a lot of anxiety with putting yourself out there. When I first started, I'm like, who am I to have the nerve to put my videos out there thinking someone would want to watch them, let alone subscribe to them, let alone comment on them, let alone be encouraged to read something I'm reading because of what I said about it. And when people reach out to you and and encourage you and, and support you and send positive vibes your way and have nothing but good things to say, especially when those people are other booktubers or content creators that you've been watching and who you've been motivated and inspired by. It's, it's nothing, nothing like it in the world. And I've only experienced this in booktube and because of booktube and i am so so thankful for that number nine at least for me booktube has been an excuse to buy stuff um and outside of sneakers i love gadgets and tech stuff i'm just a gadget geek and you know I have recently bought a new computer and a new microphone using, you know, booktube as like an excuse, even though I just like buying new things eventually, maybe in the next week or two, heck, maybe the next day or two, I don't know. I'm looking to, you know, buy a little entry level camera so I can kind of, you know, get into, you know, really shooting things. You know, it's just been a great experience and a great reason to buy stuff. You know, I tell my husband that I'm saving and he's like, well, how are you saving and you're buying all this stuff? And I'm like, hon, I got it all worked out. Don't worry about it. However, if he finds out how much I spent on my new computer, you guys might never see me again. So if, if a few weeks or a month go by, you don't see anything from me, it's likely my husband killed me. But in any case, it was worth it because I'm enjoying this. Buying new things, learning new ideas. It's, it's wonderful and I can't get enough. All right, so this is something I, I gotta mention before I say the last one. And I've noticed on BookTube that there are a lot of BookTubers named Matt. Matt at Matt's Fantasy Book Reviews, Matt at Matt on books, Matt at Beard of, Beard of Darkness, and you know, Matt would go read books like, and there are others that, I, that I'm not naming, and I'm sure those watching this video, y'all can name some more Mats. There's a lot of Mats on book too. And shout out to all of them, cause you are all great. Number 10, and I think it may be probably one of, if not the most important thing about booktube, at least what I've noticed about booktube is that it's fun. It is a effing good time. And as precious as time is, if you're gonna make time to do something, as a hobby that you're not getting paid to do, you better make damn sure that you're enjoying yourself. And I am very much enjoying myself on BookTube. And thank you to every single BookTuber, viewer, and commenter, subscriber 
who has made this a great time for me because now I know for sure your boy is here to stay. Thank you for watching. This is Darko, Kindles and Kicks. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello.